the easiest way to make sure that both you and your speaking partner are having fun and learning something useful during your conversations is to watch and discuss a TV show together. But with a twist. Let me show you exactly how to do that. Hey, my fellow English learner, you're watching Fluent English with Lady Giraffe. I'm Olga, and today I'm going to talk about a really exciting activity that you can do with your speaking partner week after week for months. I did this for more than a year with my speaking partner, and it was so much fun. Of course, the first step is to choose a TV show that both of you will enjoy. Sitcoms work really well for this because they usually have short episodes, lots of useful everyday expressions, and simple storylines with amusing characters. Check out shows like Parks and Recreation, Friends, and How I Met Your Mother. My partner and I met once a week for a couple of hours to discuss one episode of our TV show. But we did some preparations beforehand, so we were never out of topics to talk about. Here is how my routine went. First, I watched an episode just for fun. Next, I watched the same episode again, but this time focusing on new vocabulary and interesting expressions. I used a script for this episode to find sentences with those new words and expressions and collect them in one Google Doc. Context is crucial when you're trying to learn new vocabulary, so it's always a good idea to write down your new words in sentences. Google Docs are perfect for this type of activity. Because they're free to use, you can highlight interesting expressions in different colors, and you can share this document with your partner. As you can see, I'm also really into collocations, and I rarely highlight just one word in a sentence. There were some expressions I found useful and worth learning and using in my own conversations. I highlighted them in blue. You won't believe how easy it is to memorize a new word or expression if your favorite character is using it. Your partner can do something similar in their Google Doc or on paper, and it's so much fun to compare the words and expressions you found interesting. And be prepared to explain these new words and expressions to your partner, and this is a great exercise to improve both your speaking skills and your vocabulary. When the speaking session starts, you don't have to jump straight into discussing the show. Warm up first. Just ask each other questions and things like, what's up? Then you can share your opinions about the episode in general. Did you enjoy it? What was your favorite moment in it? What about the characters? Did you find their actions great or not so great? Was it funny? After that, compare your notes and share your favorite expressions from the episode. Just be creative and have fun. And if something really stood out to you, try to use this expression in your own discussion. And of course, you can work on a TV show by yourself without a speaking partner. And there are some other ways you can improve your speaking fluency by yourself, as I show in this video and this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time with more awesome language content.